This is the time of the year for sprucing up and fluffing your house. But first, we need to get to taking care of all the Christmas decor that is around my home. So it's time to take everything down that is really Christmas related. This is the earliest I have taken Christmas decor down the first week of January. Usually I'm mid-January, but I'm feeling the urge to clean up my space, fluff my house like I mentioned earlier, and just make things fresh for the winter season and cozy. My little tree is coming down with ornaments being packed away in the storage box so that I know where everything is for the next year. The vacuum is pulled out so that I can get all those needles off the ground, get the corners so that those needles that like to stick to the walls get vacuumed up, and just make the space clean and fresh from what it had been. And now it's time for the big tree to come down. This always opens up my space with having a small house to make room for rearranging furniture to fluffing, like I said, which really means just uh, managing, taking care of your home in a aesthetics sort of way. So I like to just move things back where they had been before Christmas came about and just kind of figure out how I want my home to look for this winter season when we're inside a lot, when I want it to be cozy and inviting. And so there's a lot of rearranging and experimenting with where furniture should go this time of year. Time to shake out those linens and just get everything um, aired out from all the dust and grime that is in there and take time to get it so that it is nice again like I said for this great season and spruce it up so it's a little bit more minimal but still cozy and inviting. Taking down my third little Christmas tree and rearranging again as I need to just spruce up this area as well and that includes rearranging the living area and putting down a new rug mat to help it not slip. It has been a bother for many months now. This rug that I have just wants to slip because we have carpet so I purchased this non-slip rug mat to go over top of carpet and oh boy was it sure a lot of work to do by myself but i got it done and it's just a little bit big for a rug but it has helped so well i have not had to adjust our rug one bit since i put this non-slip rug mat down and that's one area i can really help with sprucing up because it helps when people come over i don't feel like someone's gonna trip on our rug and um fluffing a rug takes a lot of work especially when it's a large rug like this one and so when I just can maintain it and take care of it now and get this task done then I know it'll be set for hopefully at least six more months. on your side table 
with more plants layered on some books really adds that cozy factor and spruces up a space to make it really inviting in a place I just want to grab a blanket and snuggle up with a good magazine or book. I decided to zip tie my cord to the legs of my side table to kind of just hide them a little bit and then I tucked it under the rug just to not have such visible cording and make it a little more, um, I don't know, just a little more nice looking and more fluffing. Now, I love pillowcases and pillow inserts because you can wash them. So I am doing that again and inserting them back in with my little one, of course, hanging out next to me. But that's a really easy way to spruce up your home. And just actually, that's a, a maintenance. And then I use my pilling machine to get off all the little pills on our couch and pillow. So just making things look nice and inviting and sprucing up that space. <laughs> this has been multiple days of sprucing up my home and getting it rearranged a little more decorated for the winter months there's little tasks that I have done every day throughout the week because I've had different outfit changes as you can see but that's part of taking care of your home fluffing it changing it around for the season is not just doing it all in one day unless you have the time but for me it was 20 minutes one day, maybe an hour the next day. And so just making sure I was able to get these things done for taking care of my home. One final area is to the kitchen, which is the heart of the home to me. I'm in my kitchen all the time. And so I wanted to wipe down all my cabinet faces and do some paint touch up because over the holiday season, I didn't do much of the cleaning and maintenance of the kitchen and a little scratches, food marks get on there. Um, paint starts to chip. And so it was time to just take care of that to get that looking nice so that it is ready to use again and maintenance like I said is a common occurrence in a home but if you're wanting to take care of your home this is what it requires and so I just advise you to do little things every day that you can manage these are nap time jobs that I do most of the time and some things of course you can do when your kids are around but just little things to do to fluff your home, to add that cozy factor, to make it a space that you want to be in, especially during these cold winter months when temperatures are freezing outside, but you have a cozy, inviting home inside. Mm -hmm.